Hi everyone, my name is Kevin. Today I wanna to show you how you can add your very own custom virtual background in Microsoft Teams that you could use when meeting with others and you have your webcam on. As full disclosure, before we jump into this, I work at Microsoft as a full-time employee. Now, why would you want to set your own custom virtual background? Well, maybe you're joining a meeting, you wanna turn on your webcam so you get that nice face-to-face -face interaction with other people, but maybe you haven't done the laundry or maybe you know, you're sitting in your bedroom, you haven't made your bed, or maybe you've just been at home for so long that you're just tired of people seeing the same background in back of you. So why not have a little bit of fun with virtual backgrounds? The good news is Microsoft Teams makes it very easy. I'm gonna show you step-by-step -step how you could set up your very own custom background, and then we're gonna have some fun at the end, and I'm gonna show you, or hopefully inspire you with some uh, a few different background ideas that perhaps you can use in your meetings. All right, well, let's jump on the PC. Here I am on my PC and I have a meeting coming up with a new manager. So this is my first meeting with a new boss and I figured this is the perfect opportunity to experiment with new virtual backgrounds. You know, if I'm meeting this new manager for the first time, why not show a little bit of my personality when I meet with the manager? So I'm gonna click in, my new manager is Adele and I'm gonna go ahead and join the meeting. Let's go ahead and hop on. Now what will happen is here I am in Microsoft Teams. I haven't joined the meeting yet. This is the pre-meeting screen. Now one of the things you'll see is the background in back of me is not very inspiring. So if you look here, there is a bike in back of me. I have some acoustic panels and then I'm sitting right here. Now I'd prefer not to show this in the meeting. Now the good thing is Teams makes it very easy to select your virtual background right up front. So here I have a toggle to turn my camera on and off, turn my microphone on and off. And here in the middle, there's a toggle that's turned off. If I check this, this one, what you'll see happen is a pane appears on the right hand side. This allows me to set a background. Now I mentioned I would show you how to set up your very own custom background. To do that, what we're gonna do is here in the top left hand corner of this pane, we're gonna click on add new. So when I click on add new, what'll happen is this opens up the Windows file picker and then you can navigate throughout your entire system to find whatever image you want for your background. In this case, I have a few different images that I've included on my PC, and all you have to do is click on one, click on open, and what will happen then is it'll add it to the bottom of the collection of all of these images. So it's very easy to add your own custom background. Now I wanna walk through these background uh, backgrounds here and just show you what you can do with these. So by default, the one I have set right now, this is the prohibitory sign. Uh, essentially what this means is that there is no background at all. So if you don't want a custom background, you simply select this one. Uh, the next option over here on the right hand side, what this does is this adds a nice blur effect to the background. So this way you can still see the bike a little bit there. You can still see the acoustic panels, but it's blurred out. Uh, so if you don't want to be that creative or, you know, maybe you just want to blur it out, but still have kind of your natural background, uh, you could go ahead and do that with this option. Now, as we go down, as you click on these, these are images provided by teams. Uh, here's one that looks like uh, a locker room in an office. Uh, then we also have the beach image. And so you have a whole bunch of these preset images. A uh, fun one here, this is actually Seattle in the background. Uh, I think it's actually a WeWork office looking out at the Seattle skyline. So Teams has included this as one of the default images. If you wanna get really fun and you know be in the birthday spirit or something, you could throw some balloons in. Microsoft's kind of fun too. What they've done is they've also included Minecraft. If you didn't know, Microsoft owns Minecraft. Uh, and so they've brought this in as an option as one of the backgrounds. Uh, down here, some more Microsoft fun. Uh, this is from the game Halo, some of the backgrounds from there. So you get some cool background effects and there are lots of different preset backgrounds provided by Microsoft Teams. Now these backgrounds are you know pretty nice, but the trouble is everyone has these as kind of their set backgrounds and you'll probably find a lot of people using these backgrounds. Uh, so to have more fun, you should really upload your own custom or virtual backgrounds to Teams. And so what I've done is I've added a few uh, that I wanna show here and uh, perhaps this will help inspire you. So this first one here, this one along, this was very popular, but here I'm just gonna cover up uh, this lady on the side, but um, he, I don't know if it works as well with a guy, uh, but in this case, he's checking me out. Uh, the funny thing about this image is this guy's checking out this lady, even though his girlfriend looks almost identical to her. Um, on this next one here, this is from the movie John Wick 3 down in his basement, so he could be hanging out in John Wick. 
Nick's house, uh, a cool background. Another one that I like here, this is on the off ramp of an airplane. Uh, so if I'm, an, if I'm on a meeting uh, and hey guys, gotta go, got, you know, got some stuff that I have to attend to, let me jump off the plane, uh, you could very easily do that. Um, another fun one, I'm gonna duck down a little bit. You could have conference call bingo and it pops up and it actually looks like I need to flip it around. But you have all the frequent things that come up on conference calls. For instance, uh, when you join a call and you say hello, hello, is anyone there? Is your audio turned on? Or uh, you hear a dog barking in the background. Or hey, you're on mute when someone's trying to... That happens a lot where someone's on mute and they start talking. So. Uh, some fun you could have with that. Uh, you can include text on your backgrounds. Uh, this one's kind of fun. You might recognize this. This is the living room from The Simpsons. Uh, so here I am just hanging out with my uh, with my friends. Um, another cool one, this is the International Space Station. You could hang out on the space station, get a nice view of the Earth from above, uh, or the little blue ball. Uh, and then next, uh, if you want to, you know, maybe take advantage of some of the cheap airfares that are going around these days. Here I am on United Airlines in first class. Check out my seat right over there, you know, connecting to the internet on the flight. You know, I figured uh, I might as well still stay connected while traveling. Uh, and then as a good Microsoft employee, perhaps my favorite background that I want to show, this is the Windows 95 default background. If you ever had Windows 95, you'll probably recognize this set of grass with kind of nice sunshine shining on it. Uh, so anyway, I'm gonna go ahead, I'm, I'm gonna go with this background and now I'm going to join the meeting. So now that I'm in the meeting, I'm zooming, I'm going in and out of focus, but you see my background on here. Now what you could do is once you're already in the meeting, if somehow you decide, hey, I don't like this background or I wanna change the background, even though you're in the meeting, you can still change it. And the way to do that is just move your mouse and you'll get these controls on the bottom. And then you have the ellipses or the more actions menu right here in the middle. I'm gonna go ahead and click on that. And you have all these different settings here, but the one we care about is the one that's called show background effects. I'm going to go ahead, let's click on this one, and this will bring up the same exact pane uh, that I saw in the previous window. And here too, I could go through and set the different backgrounds just like I could do previously. One other fun trick that I want to show here in front of the Windows 95 background, if for whatever reason you want to disappear from your meeting, what you could do is simply take your finger and put it on the webcam and you will disappear or vanish. And then take your finger off and you will appear again. Just a fun little trick. And now I know we're talking about virtual backgrounds, but one other kind of useful tip that I wanna share with people, um, oftentimes what happens is when you're on a conference call, uh, people tend to wanna to mute themselves. Maybe you're uh, multitasking and you don't want people on the call to hear you. Uh, there's a shortcut key that'll allow you to mute and unmute your microphone. So one thing you could do is you could click here uh, to mute, click there again to unmute, or you could press uh, control shift M and that'll toggle the microphone on mute or uh, untoggle it. So here I'll just keep pressing it shift or control shift M control shift M. Uh, that is your friend when you're on conference calls because it could very quickly mute and unmute the microphone. All right. Well, that was just a quick tutorial of how you could set up your very own custom background in Microsoft Teams so you can have more fun when you're meeting with others. If you have any awesome ideas for virtual backgrounds, feel free to post it in the comments. I'm always looking for some fresh and new ideas that I could use in my meetings at Microsoft. Uh, if you found this video helpful and you now know how to set up your own custom background, uh, please give this video a thumbs up. If you wanna see more videos like this in the future, hit that subscribe button. That way you'll get a notification anytime new content like this comes out. And lastly, if you wanna see me cover any other other topics in the future, leave a comment down below. I read them all and I'll add it to my list of videos to create. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you next time. Bye.